Once again with Pavel Datsuk. Yesterday you said it doesn't matter how they spell your name, as long as they say it right. How about today when all the fans are calling out to you? How's that feeling walking down the red carpet yet again? No, it's, I feel unbelievable. I still remember in the last year, and the last year it's lucky for me in the there, and I, I wish it's this year same. Well, this year we wish you again all the luck in the world. The Lady Bing, the Selkie, and you know what? If they had an award called the Telephone Booth Award, I think you'd have that entirely locked up because how do you dangle like that, man? It's like in your feet and everywhere. Uh, it's uh, hard to say now, and uh, I wish I'd be doing and I'd keep going doing and, uh, and uh, some fan enjoy it, what I did. With Jose Theodore of the Washington Capitals, although we don't know yet, UFA around this time, I don't know. What's it looking like this year for you? I don't know, we'll see. It's always a lot of surprises and we'll see July 1st. I'm, uh, I'm just like you guys, I'm, I'm there, I'm, uh, I'm going to see what uh, the options are. Now hold on, I got to do this because I got a thing about names here, okay? People call you Jose, they say Teodor, they say Jose Teodor. No, 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 no. I, I got to get this for the record here. You say it and I'm going to... I say Jose Theodore. That's perfect. That's the way it is. Perfect. Even me, I don't say it as good as that, but it is Jose Theodore. I don't know what happened when I got drafted. They thought it was Theodore and it just kind of stuck, but it's Theodore. Look at that. The Schwartz gets it right. Guy, Vinici, oh, and Terrible Ted. We got to get the legends in here. Come on over. Terrible Ted Lindsay, Guy Lafleur with Hockey54.com. First, I'm sorry, Guy. I know you got a bunch of Art Rosses, you got a bunch of Hearts, but you never won the Ted Lindsay Award. It's brand new this year. What was it like getting a trophy named after you, sir? It's a wonderful feeling after so many years in a wonderful game. Still the great, greatest game in the world, and I'm humbled by it. Believe me. Well, I'm humbled, honestly. Two legends of the game. Mr. Detroit, Mr. Montreal, when they put up the statues out in Montreal, Guy, how did it feel to be immortalized like that? Well, I think it was a great honor for me to have these uh, statues outside, especially with Jean Beliveau, Harry Morans, and uh, uh, it's, it's just fantastic. So it's a great, great honor to be to have that. But, uh, usually you get your statue when you die. <laughs> I was just going to say, so, so. It's nice to have it while you're alive. <laughs> so it's nice. And for you two gentlemen, what's it like being in Las Vegas right now? Hot. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun, you know, it's a great place and uh, especially this event, you know, the players, they love to come down here and uh, maybe that's why you get everybody that, uh, that are here today, so, uh, and it's, it's kind of hot too, like that saying, but uh, it's great, it's great to be here. Now, one last question for each of you. This one's a little close to you. Number 19, Stevie Y, leaves Motown. When I say that, what are you feeling in here, Mr. Lindsay? Well, no, Steve, he's a young man yet. He had great success with the Canadian Olympic team. He, Ken Holland's going to be in Detroit for just signed another five-year contract. So Steve didn't want to wait five years, and he's got too much to offer. He's had good mentoring by Ken Holland in all these years. Scotty was there for many years. So he'll do well in Tampa Bay. And now for Guy. The Canadiens did pretty well in the playoffs this year. How surprised were you that they made it as far as they did? I was surprised. I was really surprised that they they made the playoff first because nobody really expected them to make the playoff. And uh, to get as far as they did, you know, everybody was surprised too. I think the players uh, really play as a team and uh, they really work hard. So uh, everybody's happy in Montreal and uh, hoping that next year they're going to go further. Guy. Ted just had to leave. He's got autograph seekers. You've got autograph seekers. Two legends on Hockey54.com. An absolute pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you.